Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and in this quick class, we'll cover Microsoft Excel's autofill feature of columns and rows. Most people who have used Excel for a while have figured out that instead of manually keying in repetitive data, like a series of numbers or dates, you can have Excel do it for you and save lots of time. In this tutorial, we'll cover basic autofilling. We'll show how you can fill patterns of data. We'll then get into some special fills related to dates, like filling years and months. And finally, how to fill weekdays only, skipping weekends. Real quick, this class is part of our Microsoft Excel series. If you find these videos useful, hit that subscribe in the lower right. I'll also put a link below in the description. It'll make it easier to find all the classes in the series. Now, let's get started. We'll start by doing some basic autofilling. In this example, we'll autofill dates. I've given the column a heading, but that's not necessary. Now I'll enter a start date. Notice the active cell has a little green square in the lower right corner. With your mouse, hover over the square and you'll see the cursor change from the standard plus sign to a little black one. That's an indication that you've positioned the cursor correctly. Click and hold with your left mouse button and then drag in the direction that you'd like to fill. You can fill rows or columns. In this tutorial, we'll just be using columns. Drag as far as you want. You'll notice a little preview window which might help you know when to stop. Then release the mouse button. And just like that, you've filled a column with dates. By default, Excel assumes that you want to increment by days. We'll show you some options for dates later. Now let's fill some numbers and start with the number one. Since we have data in the column directly to the left, we can use another autofill feature. If we double click on that little green square, Excel assumes that we want to fill the column with the same number of rows that are on the left. By the way, this also works if there's data to the immediate right. So that worked, but when filling numbers, Excel assumes that you want to copy the same number over and over again. But what if you want to increment the number? There are actually a couple of ways to fill in a series of numbers. So let's try that again. This time, let's click on the right mouse button and drag down. The preview still indicates the defaults, which will just copy the same number. However, since we clicked and dragged with the right mouse button, when we let go, we get a pop-up window with fill options. The first option is to copy the cell like we did before, but we want a sequence or a series of numbers. So let's select series. Much better. I mentioned there were two methods. The second method to fill a series brings us to our next topic. Filling using a pattern of data. So let's try filling our number column again. This time, let's give Excel a pattern to follow. Put the number two in the next row. Now let's try double clicking again. Okay, so that didn't give us our series of numbers. That's because when Excel evaluates the pattern, it's looking at the active cells, those that are highlighted. So this time, let's make both cells active by clicking on the first cell, holding the shift, and clicking on the second cell. Now when we double click, sure enough, it fills the column and follows our pattern. And it doesn't have to be a sequential pattern incrementing by one. You can do even or odd numbers, or every fifth number. Lots of options here. You can even use a pattern of text, like this one. Very handy when filling in columns or rows. So now let's do some of the specialized fills for dates. Back to our date column. This time when we fill the column, we'll right click and drag. When you release the right mouse button in the fill options window, let's use the year fill option. Sure enough, it skips full years. Now let's do the same for months using the fill months option. Here's another very useful date fill option. That's the weekday fill. But first I'll change the formatting of that cell to help demonstrate the example. Now let's right click and drag and select fill weekdays. And there you have it. It fills weekdays skipping weekends. There are some fill options for formatting that you might want to play around with, but that's for another day. That's it for this tutorial. Again, if you haven't already and you find these videos useful, please subscribe. You won't get spammed. However, if you do want to get notified when we post a new video, be sure to click that notify bell below. If you'd like to learn more about Middle Loop, where we specialize in producing custom training videos like this one for corporations rolling out new software, click show more in the description below. Thank you and have a great day. Oh, oh, oh.